Good morning. It is 725 and we're at DMV and there's a line. It's not bad. Maybe 10, 15, 20 people. It's cold. I didn't bring my beanie. I didn't bring my gloves. Ooh, all right. Hopefully um, this Saturday. Hopefully we won't be. I'll let you know how it goes. Hopefully I've got everything I need. I don't know what I should have brought. I don't like going to DMV. I don't know who does, but anyway. Um, I will check back in with you later and let you know how long this process took or if I even completed it. Because, you know, they're like, oh, did you bring your birth certificate? Did you bring this? Like, just give me a piece of paper or something. I don't know. I will check back in with you later. I stood out there for a good 20 minutes in the blasting cold. I didn't think that it was so cold. When I get up to go to work, I'm layered up. I'm warm. I was cold. I get in. I tell the lady, what do I need to do? This is what I need to do. And she was like, oh, well, we can't do that. And I was like, why? Because my, I have to pay my personal property tax. I don't, not every state has this where you have to pay a personal property tax on my little car. Okay. Where I don't, I did not know. Okay. So I have to pay my property tax and then they'll give me a tag. So I got to keep driving around like this. Oh my God. That's the one thing up here, man. They will get you. They will get you property tax. You got to pay all these taxes. You got to pay all this crap up here. That's the one thing that is so annoying. And DMV is like the devil because if you don't pay all these things, like certain things, then it all comes back to DMV. Well, oh, you can't. DMV is not going to help you until you pay all this money. Oh my God. City of Norfolk will take, they will take your license in a heartbeat. Not that they took my license, but they will. They will take it. They will take it. You don't pay your property tax. You don't pay your taxes on your house. You don't do this. You don't do that. They're going to take your license or they're going to make it really hard for you. Whatever. It's fine. I almost died out there. I'm so cold. I'm going to just go home. I'm going home. I got to keep driving around. I'll go to the, I'll call the city. And she's like, well, they're not open today. So I was like, well, whatever. And the city of Norfolk, they're not open today. So super convenient. Um, and I got to get a state inspection for my car. Like, it's like, what the freak, man? All this stuff. Like, how much... How much did I know not all states have city property taxes, personal property taxes, and where you've got to get a city ins inspection sticker for your car? Why? I've always thought that city inspection sticker or the inspection sticker for your car was so dumb. I okay. Why do I need to do this? Because we want to make sure a car. Yeah, my car. If my car was not safe, it wouldn't be rolling around on the road. You know what I'm saying? It's just another form or way of getting money. And another way you can get stopped if your uh, city, your inspection sticker is out of date and get a ticket. Blah, 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 blah. I'm annoyed. I'm super annoyed. Anyway, I'm going to go home now. I'm going to have another cup of coffee and just go home because this was, this was pointless. Pointless. This was pointless, and I'm done. I'm going home. It is 12 o'clock, and we made it to PetSmart. Um, XO and the BFF, or one of the BFFs. We've made it to PetSmart. It's cold, man. I don't think it would be so cold if it wasn't so windy, but it's like breezy, breezy, windy, windy, windy. Um, but here we are at PetSmart. This is what I got the hamster, and this thing was 70 bucks. So I still have the box. I'm going to sell it like on Facebook or something. I don't know. I don't think I can return it. So if I could get maybe 40 or 50 bucks, maybe make some of my money back on it. We'll see. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. You too. Thanks. Here you go. All right, let's go. We have made it to Guitar Center to get the ukulele new string.
This thing is so soft. Sugar would love to lay in this. <laughs> it's nice. It's real soft, too. the guitar so now all we have to do is put going the other way what Ugh. you're supposed to turn babe what what are you really doing boss yeah you turn it this way why because that's the way that was going the way you wanted it to go wait what you said you wanted it to go inside it's gotta go inside so that was the way to make it do that These are Exo's guitars and ukuleles. This is the one that they just got done uh, restringing. Looks good, babe. I got this uh, for Exo for their birthday. Ukulele and there's two um, electric guitars down there. And this will be probably the last night that the little hamster lives in his little cage. And he's going to have a new upgrade, which we will show you. So it's going to look really good. But he's in here somewhere. He's in there somewhere. Hamster's new home. This is the hamster's new home for the 75th time. Um, it's very large. And then uh, Bill made this, because it literally was no, you, there was no top. Online, nothing. Um, so he made this top. Anyway, tons of bedding and food and water and new wheels and toys. A cool little house within the house. Exo's got like some tunnels in here. Um, but yeah, this is just the first night, so I'm sure... Um, Exo will think of, or, you know, do, well, I don't know, jazz. It's very nice, uh, but if you want to do something different, but I think it looks good. And it's large and in charge. I mean, it's bigger than the, what? Well, not bigger, but anyway, you get it. So I think it looks good. He's somewhere in that house, though. Oh, my God. It is 7.36, and I am done. I'm done. Um, I am slightly irritated, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I got up so early, but I get up at 4.30 every morning, so I got up at 6, so I can't even say that. Maybe I'm just irritated with the whole DMV, city property tax, whatever. I've, you know, it's a whole thing. This person has stolen my tags, which has now turned into this. I had a fun time with the kids, though. We went out and about. We went to PetSmart, Starbucks, Guitar Center, and what would just end the perfect day? Walmart. We went to Walmart, and then I took um, uh, Exo's BFF home and came home. I cooked. I helped kind of set up the hamster thing, and then I sat and watched Exo um, change the strings on the guitar and the ukulele and just busy and then gosh darn it dude this dog yesterday he doesn't do this a lot like rarely he ate half a bag of cat food which then last night he was not feeling so good okay and that was disgusting okay I had to take like four bags outside with me. And then again this morning, it was horrible. And with all that, his little stomach was all messed up. Just a horrible mess last night and today, this morning. You would think that he would be like, oh yeah, I shouldn't do that again. But he probably, he'd eat another bag of cat food. He'd do it. I know he would. 
and that is disgusting. Okay, so anyway, I had a good day. I guess I'm just I'm just tired. I just want to sit down and I just want to like uh, wash my face. Do not, and I worked out. I worked out too. So I feel like I got a lot of stuff in. I don't know. I had a good day. I hope you had a good day. I am done. We're gonna go to bed. It's almost like if I'm not paying attention to him, like he knows it. Now I am. And then if I stop, he's going to cry. I'm going to wash my face. I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope that you enjoyed the vlog. It was kind of... Kind of all over the place. And then we went, after I left Walmart and I came home, we immediately started working on the guitar. And then I didn't really talk to you until like right now. So, but that's what happened today. So, I will talk to you tomorrow. As always, I'll vlog again tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Ho hold on. I got something to ask. I got, just, okay. I was talking to my girlfriend at work yesterday. Well, she was talking to me about taxes. And like she asked me, and we're friends, so she could ask me this, like, what am I getting back on my taxes? And I told her, I'll tell you. It's nothing. When I was a server, you know, I wasn't making anything on paper, whatever. I'd get, like, I'd get, like, four or five. So I, the most I got back was six. Like, when I was claiming, you could claim two kids. Well, now they've aged out, and I just have, you know, XO. So I would be like five thousand dollars, like well, okay, but you know that's serving and not making money on the ta on paper, blah blah blah. So now I'm working at the post office, and it's basically cut in half, because you know you get that child tax credit, and then I guess now I don't. That's all I get. I don't claim anything during the year. I claim no dependents during the year. My mom did taxes, and she always told me to do that. So I don't know. I don't know anything. I do my taxes on TurboTax, whatever. And then, you know, she was, I told her, I was like, yeah, that's about what I'm going to get back. And then she was like, what? And she said, uh, she usually gets back like six or so. And she has one child, okay, and she works at the post office. So I was like, what? But then she was like, well, yeah, this year I'm going to get what you're getting back, you know, half of that. And I, and I was like, well, were you always getting back like $6,000? Like, what is happening? Am I doing something wrong? Anyway, to, to why I'm saying this is because um, I'm seeing people, not my friends or anything, but like just stories on TikTok. And maybe they're being, you know, not telling the truth because it's TikTok, ah, oh, whatever. But they're talking about how they're getting all this money back. Like, I don't... I did mine through TurboTax. I only had one W-2 and I put all the numbers in correctly. I don't claim anything like I didn't donate. I don't have child care. I don't have, I don't have any of that. I just have taxes. I work. Here you go. Nothing else. Child tax. Give it to me. That's it. Is that normal? Are people getting back like six, five thousand? My yearly income was about 57. It was close to $58,000. That's a lot. To me, it is. More than what I was making when I was serving tables. One year, my yearly income was $13,000. But, it, I mean, but I was okay. I mean, I wasn't okay, but I was doing it, okay? I was surviving. I was. Anyway, um, gosh, are people getting back like that? Should I have gone to, like, a, pl a place and been like, hey, can you do this for me, like, a person? Or... I mean, I don't know everyone's circum. I, obviously, I don't know everyone's circumstances, and that I, I don't know all that. But I've just heard so many people saying that, and then she was like, "Oh wow, I don't know, but I'm happy to get anything back, and I'm happy to to get it back, and you know, put it away, and whatever." The old me would get it back, and we would go shopping, but I'm not, you know, I am getting better with money i'm getting better with it you know it's hard it's hard um but anyway i just was i just was scrolling and i was like i want to ask is that and i'm not asking you to tell me what you got like nothing like that but i guess has the has it increased or I, anyway i just wanted to let that out there but i've already filed and it's in the motions now so we're you know we're going and i 
anyway. So, well, I hope that you get a good tax return back and, you know, whatever. I hope you get a good one back. Okay, and do what you want with it because it's your money. Go to Walmart. Go on a vacation. Fix your car. Pay your bills. Some people are paying bills. I get it. Catching up on things. Now I'm finally done. I will talk to you later. I'm done. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.